What is going on, guys? Um, I just want to talk about, obviously, other news that the Eagles have talked about other players they are interested in. And one of those players is Quiddy Pay for Michigan. It's probably one of the picks I hate the most. Okay, one of the picks I hate the most because this team cannot afford to do this this year. They really can't. Now, I'm not saying I don't like Quiddy Pay. I'm not saying I like Barrymore. I'm not saying I don't like any of these guys. But if, if those players are higher than what your draft board says it is, then you have a problem. <laughs> if you have Quiddy Pay over a bunch of guys, I mean, then, then you have no common sense for this draft. Okay? If you don't have the two top corners over Quiddy Pay or some of these other guys, then you have, you have a problem. Okay? So, obviously, this is just one of those things where the Eagles talk great about a player so everyone thinks that they want them in the draft that that's what it is the eagles say oh you know quitty pay is a great player blah 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 blah, which they did which they did which i'm going to bring up right now which they did high roseman the eagles are known to pull a surprise or two on draft day <laughs> really um so who could it be this year <laughs> you know what i mean the only difference between the J.J. Ortega Whiteside pick and getting Quiddy Pay is Quiddy Pay is actually better. Barrymore is actually better. These guys are actually better. Okay, obviously, you know, J.J. was a second-round talent, but you know what I mean. That's a surprise A surprise pick that who, – who's that? Okay, okay, who's that? So, I'm told the team loves Quiddy Pay, an edge rusher from Michigan. A view him, they view him as a clone of another Wolverine, Brand Graham. Okay, the Eagles' former first-round pick, they could, they, they, I can't even talk right now because I can't even say this. Okay, could they take him at the 12 overall selection? I'd say right now it's possible. I highly doubt it. Okay. I highly doubt it. Okay, and, and let me tell you something. Will Quiddy pay make her defensive line better? Definitely. But do I think he's worth it at 12? He's not going to get dressed. He's not a top 10 pick. He's nothing. It's just, I'm not looking at need for this team. I'm, I'm like, they're, like you're, you're, get the, the best player available is where I'm looking, okay? This just makes no sense, okay? I'm not saying that he's, at, like, I'm going to say this a million times because people are going to twist my words around. Like, I'm not saying that Barrymore or Quiddy Pay or, you know, uh, you know Rashard, uh, Rashawn Slater and, you know, Penny Sewell. I'm not saying any of these guys are bad. I'm just saying that the Eagles need to get playmakers this year. The Eagles need a young, we need to build this defense, especially in the secondary, yeah, we got to find those unknowns to we, we have too many unknowns on this team right now. Okay, so I really don't know what's going to happen, what's going to go on, what the what the future of this draft is going to look like, but you can't between this year and next year you cannot pick I just don't see them having Quiddy Pay higher on their bat draft board. It just makes no sense. Okay, this is literally the Eagles saying Quiddy Pay is a Quiddy Pay reminds us of, of Brandon Graham is an, and is a great player. And that's other than that, that's really all I'm seeing from it. I'm not seeing that they're going to be interested in, in drafting him or whatnot. I mean, this is just them saying good things about a player. There's a lot of players in this draft. Like we could say good things if you're a GM and and. You say good things about 20 players. They're going to think you're going to draft all 20 of them. You know what I mean? Even if they're good or bad players. You know what I mean? So really at the end of the day, I'm just kind of, you know, ranting. But, you know, you have to rant before the draft. It's not normal if you don't rant. rant behind, you know, I can't even talk because this is just, this is just, this would totally just, I mean, obviously it's not worse than drafting a cornerback or trading a quarterback or trading back. But it's just not the pick. It's just not. You know what I mean? You have 11 picks, and you're going to stay at 12 and go get a defensive end. It just makes no sense to me why, why they would do that. It really doesn't at all. So, Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about Quiddy Pay as a player, and do you think he's worth it at 12? I hope, I hope at least 90% of you say he's not. really hope so. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Peace.